Alright, so you probably clicked on this video wondering how to charge your battery. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to explain all the steps that go into this, including making the battery and wire. Uh, and here's the final product. Uh, I use a coal generator for this, so if you're more advanced than that and you're trying to figure it out or something for some reason you clicked on this, I don't know why, uh, well, then you're not in the right place. So I already have a battery all charged up. Uh, I was just testing it to make sure. And yeah, this is it. This is the whole final product. So uh, let's get started. The simplest thing is the wire. You take copper ingots, put them in a row of three, just like this, vertically. And then if you surround it by wool, it'll make six insulated copper wires. If you just put three of them without any wool, it'll make six uninsulated. And then each one of those can be placed next to wool to make your insulated copper wire. So let's just take this out, because we're only going to need one. And boom insulated copper wire. Now here's the battery. You're going to take five tin ingots, coal, and redstone. Uh, let me just take them all. Okay. And you just place them into this formation. Oop. Redstone in the middle, coal on the bottom. My bad. Uh, and that makes a battery. You're going to need more than one battery for this. You have one that gets charged, but in the battery box, which is the item you place the battery into to charge it, you're going to need three more batteries, so make sure you have enough materials to get that. So you're going to take three more batteries and six steel ingots in a box shaped like this so that the batteries run horizontally across the center. I don't know why I walked over to this crafting table. There's a lot of crafting tables you might be able to tell. And boom, battery box. So let's just throw this down just like that, right here. That looks pretty good. Uh, also throw down copper wire. Alright. Next, uh, while the coal generator is important, it also uses steel, so I should probably explain that. To get steel, you take four pieces of coal and kind of make like a plus sign around an iron ingot. Oh, it's raining. Oh, good. I'm going to have to toggle downfall. And that'll make steel dust. You throw the steel dust, just like this, into a furnace, which I have conveniently placed over here. Toggle the downfall while it's smelting. And that will make you one steel ingot. Boom. I'll let the other one just uh, smelt. This is a motor. I'll get into that in just a second. So that's the steel ingot in case you're wondering how to make those for the battery box. Now, I'll show you the coal generator's recipe. It's seven steel ingots, a furnace in the center, and a motor. Um, so, I, I should probably explain the motor before I make the coal generator. That makes sense, huh? The motor is four steel ingots in a plus sign, an iron ingot in the very dead center, and then kind of like an X. Every corner is an insulated copper wire. So we're going to throw this into a crafting table. Steel like this. Iron in the center. Insulated copper wires. That makes your motor. Now, let's make this last piece. Furnace surrounded by steel. Put the motor on the bottom. Makes your coal generator. Now, if you already have this set up like I do, face toward it so that um, you're clicking the space right in front of this wire, and that'll make it so that the coal generator's back gets plugged in to the side of this. And I always use the red side. I don't know if the black side would work like that. Uh, I guess the last thing I should explain on this is uh, you put coal into the coal generator. It'll heat up. That's the whole heat. And then once it's 100%, it'll start throwing um, energy over here in the form of joules. Yeah, there it is. And when you can just place your battery in, it'll start eating it up. And there we go. And it can hold up to 1,000 kilojoules, I believe. Yes. So uh, that's how you charge your battery in uh, volts. I don't know if I ever said that this is volts. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned it. I hope I answered your question. If you have any more specific questions, you can ask them in the um, in the comment section below. And I made this video because we are starting up a Volts series on my channel pretty soon, uh, along with Toaster Waffle, Leon Fire 99, and Schneid's 1001. Maybe some more people, I don't know. But we're going to be doing it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I figured I should make a video showing this off. Also because I was studying this and I needed to figure out how to do it. This is the coal generator version. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but I'm not that far in my single player world, so whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed.